Marie Epstein Marie Epstein born Marie Antonine Epstein, 14 August 1899, Warsaw 24 April 1995, Paris was an actress, scenarist, film director, and film preservationist. Her career is distinguished by three important collaborations. Throughout the 1920s, she acted in and wrote scenarios for films directed by her brother, Jane Epstein. From the 1920s through the early 1950s, she collaborated with the director Jean Benoit Levy on 16 films, serving variously as a writer, assistant director, and co-director. From the early 1950s to her retirement in 1977, Epstein served as a film preservationist at the Cinematic Frankies. Career Rur. Collaboration with Jean Benoit Levy, 1928-1940. Epstein is best known for the films she co-directed with Jean Benoit Levy throughout the 1930s. Moving away from the romantic scenarios she wrote for Jean Epstein, her films with Benoit Levy employ many of the avant-garde techniques developed in French Impressionist cinema of the 1920s to explore major social issues facing France, in the 1930s, especially poverty, single motherhood, the struggles of oppressed women, and the plight of poor. As film historian Alan Williams notes, Benoit Levy and Epstein's films always pay careful attention to the moral choices required by particular social conditions. While their films reflect the poetic realism prominent in 1930s French cinema, their work makes greater use of experimental editing techniques. Describing La Maternelle 1933, a film about state-run nursery education, Williams notes that the film recalls the tradition of cinematic impressionism by using subjective editing to convey traumatic events in the life of a neglected slum child and by presenting a woman's attempted suicide in a row. Film scholar Sandy Flitterman Lewis also calls attention to this episode because the woman looks directly at the camera a rarity in films of this period implicating the spectator directly in the woman's suicide. Benoit Levy and Epstein's films also depart from typical poetic realist films in their treatment of social issues. As film scholar Jeanette Vincendo says in her obituary for Epstein, La Maternal offers a useful corrective to Jean Vigo's Zero de Conduite. Whereas Vigo's film portrays the French education system as cruel and ineffectual, La Maternal depicts school as an instrument of social liberation rather than repression. Vincindo and Gwendolyn Audrey Foster also note that Benoit Levy and Epstein's films place particular importance on the challenges confronting women and feature a number of strong female characters, both unusual in French films of the period. 1940s As a Jew, Epstein was arrested by the Gestapo in February 1944, but avoided deportation and was later released thanks to the efforts of friends in the French film industry and the Red Cross, for which she worked. Epstein's filmmaking career came to a standstill during the 1940s. Late Documentaries and Preservation Work 1950s-1977 in the early 1950s, Epstein served as an assistant director for several short documentary films directed by Benoit Levy, and in 1953, completed the only film for which she is credited as the sole director, La Grande Esperance, a documentary about atomic energy. Beginning in the early 1950s, Epstein worked as a preservationist of silent cinema under the guidance of Henry Langlois at the Cinematic Frankies. She is known to have restored Abel Gance's Napoli in 1927, as well as films by her brother, Jean Epstein. She retired from the cinematic in 1977. Filmography Director La Grande Esperance, 1953 Co-director with Jean Benoit Levy Given the collaborative relationship between Benoit Levy and Epstein, it is difficult to determine Epstein's exact contribution to these films. Epstein likely served as a writer and assistant for some films and as co-director for others. Il était une fois trois amis, 1928. Ames d'Enfance, 1928. Peau de Pech, 1928. 
Maternite 1929, Heart of Paris 1932, La Maternelle 1933, Ito 1934, Helene 1936, the Lorena La Morte du Signe 1937, Altitude 3,238, Le Fieu de Pale 1939. Assistant Director Unless otherwise noted, all films are directed by Jean Benoit Levy. Her Fidel Jean Epstein 1923, Agents Matrimonial 1952, La Congres de la Dance 1952, Duke's Mater's Poor on Valet 1952, Le Poignard 1952, Sue's Les Ponts 1952. Writer, her, 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 her. Her Fidel Jean Epstein 1923, Ella Fish Jean Epstein 1924, Le Double Amour Jean Epstein 1925, Six at Demi Ons Jean Epstein 1927. Vive la vie, Jean Epstein, 1937. La Liberte Surveille, Henry Eisner, and Vladimir Vielsek, 1958. Actor. Her Fidel, Jean Epstein, 1923. Appearances. Citizen Langlois, Edgardo Kozarinsky, 1995. Le Fantôme de Henry Langlois, Jacques Richard, 2004.